On June 4, 2010, seven-year-old Kyron Horman was dropped off at Skyline Elementary School in Portland, Oregon by his stepmother Terry. She stayed with him as he attended the school science fair, and walked him down the hall to his class, and left the school around 8.45 a.m. However, he was never seen in his first class, and was instead marked as absent. That day at 3.30 p.m., Terry and her husband, Kyron's father came, walked with their daughter to the bus stop to meet Kyron. The bus driver told them that the boy had not boarded the bus after school, however, and to call the school, to ask where he might be Terry to during the school, only to be informed by the school secretary that, as far as anyone there knew, Kyron had not been at school, and that he had been marked absent realizing then, that the boy was missing. The secretary called the police the search party for Kyron was extensive, and primarily focused on the two mile radius around Skyline Elementary, and on Savi Island, which lies six miles away the search for Kyron, which happened over a span of 10 days, was the largest in Oregon history, and included over 1,300 searchers from Oregon, Washington, and California. California Air were posted for information leading to the discovery of Chiron, which was initially $25,000, rose to $50,000 in July 2010 despite the long search. No evidence was ever found legal proceedings, including a lawsuit between Chiron's mother, Desiree Young who claims that Terry Horman is responsible for the disappearance of Chiron, is still ongoing however. Chiron's whereabouts and the circumstances surrounding his disappearance is still a mystery.